The Tao that can be told is not the eternal Tao. The name that can be named is not the eternal name. The nameless is the beginning of heaven and earth. The named is the mother of ten thousand things. Ever desireless, one can see the mystery. Ever desiring, one can see the manifestations. These two spring from the same source, but differ in name. This appears as darkness. Darkness within darkness. The gate to all mystery. Under heaven, all can see beauty as beauty, only because there is ugliness. All can know good as good, only because there is evil. Therefore, having and not having arise together. Difficult and easy complement each other. Long and short contrast each other. High and low rest upon each other. Voice and sound harmonize each other. Front and back follow one another. Therefore, the sage goes about doing nothing, teaching, not talking. The ten thousand things rise and fall without cease, creating, yet not possessing, working, yet not taking credit. Work is done, then forgotten. Therefore, it endures forever. Not exalting the gifted prevents quarreling. Not collecting treasures prevents stealing. Not seeing desirable things prevents confusion of the heart. The wise, therefore, rule by emptying hearts and stuffing bellies, by weakening ambitions and strengthening bones. If people lack knowledge and desire, then intellectuals will not try to interfere. If nothing is done, then all will be well. The Tao is an empty vessel. It is used, but never filled. O oh, unfathomable source of ten thousand things! Blunt the sharpness. Untangle the knot. Soften the glare. Merge with dust. O oh, hidden deep but ever present. I do not know from whence it comes. It is the forefather of all the world. Heaven and earth are impartial. They see the ten thousand things as what they are. The wise are impartial. They see the people as what they are. The space between heaven and earth is like a bellows. The shape changes, but not the form. The more it moves, the more it yields. More words count less. Hold fast to the center. The valley spirit never dies. It is the woman, primal mother. Her gateway is the root of heaven and earth. It is like a veil barely seen. Use it. It will never fail. Heaven and earth last forever. Why do heaven and earth last forever? They are unborn so ever living. The sage stays behind, thus he is ahead. He is detached, thus at one with all. Through selfless action, 
he attains fulfillment. The highest good is like water. Water gives life to the ten thousand things and does not strive. It flows in places men reject, and so is like the Tao. Indwelling, be close to the land. In meditation, go deep in the heart. In dealing with others, be gentle and kind. In speech, be true. In ruling, be just. In business, be competent. In action, watch the timing. No fight, no blame. Better stop short than fill to the brim. Over sharpen the blade, and the edge will soon blunt. Amass a store of gold and jade, and no one can protect it. Claim wealth and titles, and disaster will follow. Retire when the work is done. This. Is the way of heaven. Carrying body and soul, and embracing the one. Can you avoid separation? Attending fully, and becoming supple. Can you be as a newborn babe? Washing and cleansing the primal vision. Can you be without stain? Loving all men and ruling the country. Can you be without cleverness? Opening and closing the gates of heaven. Can you play the role of woman? Understanding and being open to all things. Are you able to do nothing? Giving birth and nourishing, bearing, yet not possessing, working, yet not taking credit, leading, yet not dominating. This is the primal virtue. Thirty spokes share the wheel's hub. It is the center hole that makes it useful. Shape clay into a vessel. It is the space within that makes it useful. Cut doors and windows for a room. It is the holes which make it useful. Therefore, profit comes from what is there. Usefulness. From what is not there. The myriad colors blind the eye. The myriad tones deafen the ear. The myriad flavors dull the taste. Racing and hunting madden the mind. Precious things lead one astray. Therefore, the sage is guided by what he feels, and not by what he sees. He lets go of that, and chooses this. Accept disgrace willingly. Accept misfortune as the human condition. What do you mean by? Accept disgrace willingly. Accept being unimportant. 
do not be concerned with loss or gain. This is called accepting disgrace willingly. Look, it cannot be seen. It is beyond form. Listen, it cannot be heard. It is beyond sound. Grasp, it cannot be held. It is intangible. These three are indefinable. Therefore, they are joined in one. From above, it is not bright. From below, it is not dark. An unbroken thread beyond description. It returns to nothingness. The form of the formless. The image of the imageless. It is called indefinable and beyond imagination. Stand before it and there is no beginning. Follow it and there is no end. Stay with the ancient Tao. Move with the present. Knowing the ancient beginning is the essence of Tao. The ancient masters were subtle, mysterious, profound, responsive. The depth of their knowledge is unfathomable. Because it is unfathomable, all we can do is describe their appearance. Watchful, like men crossing a winter stream. Alert, like men aware of danger. Courteous, like visiting guests. Yielding, like ice about to melt. Simple, like uncarved blocks of wood. Hollow, like caves. Opaque, like muddy pools. Who can wait quietly while the mud settles? Who can remain still until the moment of action? Observers of the Tao do not seek fulfillment. Not seeking fulfillment, they are not swayed by desire for change. 